Thanks for checking out this movie review video. This is for the 2019 film Blood Vessel, and it's coming to Shudder. It's a Shudder exclusive, and it'll be on Shudder on Thursday, November 5th. So for that reason, since this review is coming out early, and this is brand new, uh, no spoilers, so just so you know. But I will talk about it in enough detail without giving spoilers that people who have already seen it will be able to say, ah, yes, I understand what he's trying to get at here, here, here. So I'll kind of point to some things in the film that you wouldn't really know unless you've seen it so just saying anyway uh directed by justin dix who apparently directed the film crawl space which i've heard is pretty solid i have not seen it yet i do really need to watch that also written by dix and jordan prosser who prior to that had only written scripts for short films nothing feature length uh, like i said it's a shutter exclusive so a uh, quick synopsis without giving too much away uh, this is all based off of you know, basically what you might find in the trailer or the little synopsis or the little like log line that they throw out there through Shudder. So it's basically during World War II and it's a bunch of people trapped at sea who have a ship, basically a ghost ship, show up, a Nazi ghost ship nonetheless, show up that they are able to climb aboard and try to get to safety. But that's not all there is to it. Hence the title blood vessel and that's where i'll leave you obviously there are things that happen obviously it's horror so you can kind of make guesses as to what you think is going to end up happening in the film uh, i kind of thought it was going to go one way initially and then they go a different way now that said they do go with something that is well-tread material i thought it was going to be well-tread material in one way it ended up being well-tread material in a different way so i like the fact that i wasn't correct at first what it was going to end up being going on with blood vessel but um at the same time when the well-tread material shows up i always kind of tend to be like uh i need something very new now that said uh this film definitely get gets points for having a different time period than a lot of these types of films and having a different um setting as well than most of these films because think about it how many horror films have been set during world war ii time i mean i can only really think of films like um overlord and frankenstein's army uh i think the what is it called devil's rock i think was one of them uh, blood creek those types of films that deal with horror in during that time and it has some similarities with those films uh and it also kind of delves into a little bit of a nazi lore that some people may or may not be familiar with but that's all i'm gonna say about that uh but i do give it points for like i said you know being during that time period but also being at sea you know how many horror films do you really know that were done at sea the only ones i can think of is i think the I think it's called The Triangle uh, and Ghost Ship. And that's pretty much all I can think of at the moment. Well, I mean, then you have things like Open Water, Jaws, stuff like that. But this, it's not like those. It's not like Open Water and Jaws. It's, it's very different. So anyway, uh, it does open by conveying the dire situation pretty well. Uh, it, it does a very good job of kind of conveying the isolation of all these people. But it also does a very good job of establishing some of these characters early on you do understand that the this is a lot of people who are just kind of thrown together in a terrible situation just trying to survive and they all have different nationalities they all have different backgrounds which does make you kind of wonder like how did they all end up on that one life raft because they're all from different places for the most part um that doesn't make a whole lot of sense but that's not really that important, so I don't really focus too much on that. It's not a big deal. Uh, but you, it is good because there's a lot of diversity to the actual characters. And it's not just in diversity of like where they come from and who they are as people, but it's kind of when they get into the situation and the situation gets even more dire, how do they act and how do they react? And really, in the end, this film ends up becoming something about kind of human nature like when you get into a situation the best and the worst of humanity in a sense and then it kind of passes that and becomes all about the evil the blood vessel basically which obviously i'm not going to go too far into um like i said time period and setting i'm good with that 
The mix of people trying to survive together have natural suspicions about each other, by the way. That's another important thing that's set up early in the film because it then sets things up so that it's not just about whatever's going on on the ship. It's about the relationships or lack of relationships that exist with people. And that's normal. Like that, that's very realistic. You know, when you get into a situation like that, not everyone's just going to come together and just be like, oh, okay, well, I'll follow what this person says or this person says or, or work it out democratically. I mean, that would be nice, but that's not how it works. People have strong personalities, people have strong opinions, and people get afraid and paranoid and suspicious when it comes down to dire situations dealing with life and death. And that stuff is definitely a play with this film. Uh, I like the gradual exploration of the vessel itself. This film does not move super fast. It's about an hour and a half long, which is good, but at times it does kind of feel like it's longer because the exploration of the vessel itself is slow. Now, that said, there are kind of little pieces um, to give you a clue about what's going on bigger picture-wise, kind of littered throughout the vessel that you'll end up seeing. So, yeah, one thing in particular that when it popped up on the screen, and I know most horror fans will, will kind of think the same thing or something similar when I, to when I saw it, is there's one item that's found relatively early on the vessel that I was like, <laughs> any, any horror fan is seeing this and seeing this item just there, bad sign. You know bad things are going to happen. So they don't really treat it that way, the characters, but... You know, uh, um, all of the characters have horrors from their lives that end up being talked about, um, and it's ones they really can't leave behind. Another aspect I do enjoy about this film is the fact that it's not just about the horror of the blood vessel or the horror of, you know, people trying to come together in a dire time, but it's the horror of what gets talked about amongst the characters, all the past horrors because of war that they have seen or experienced. You know, people losing members of their family, you know, people having to be involved in war, you know, getting shot, having, you know, visible as well as invisible scars from, from what happened. And like I said, things that they can't leave behind. These are horrors that follow them. So I do like the contrast of the horrors for sake of the horror genre that's going on in present you know, in present time of when you're watching that film versus the horrors that have already happened that keep following these people around. So I like that. Uh, I already talked about that. It does take some real time. Like I was kind of saying, it feels like it drags a time. It really does take some time before things really start to get moving. And there is one moment in particular where things, you know, it's kind of that pop moment where, you know, the cork has been popped and things are going to get progressively more interesting and crazy uh and the build-up to that moment i thought was done pretty well uh it was very tense so I, I that may have been my favorite part the kind of reveal of when you understand what is really going on here and then it's going to take things downhill for the characters themselves uh so i like that there's a utilization of people by the evil I'm, I'm going to say this kind of carefully because I don't want to give too much away about it, but if you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. There's a utilization of people by the evil that got old for me fast. It should have kind of been more of like a one and done type thing where it's like, this happens once, we're good, but it got used a few times uh, and in, within a kind of short span of time within the film, and it just felt like it was a little bit stale. You know, introduce that thing, be like, oh, this is happening but don't keep doing it. Um, so once again, if you've seen it, you should know what I'm talking about. There's something at the end that I actually saw coming a mile away. Um, the ending is pretty decent. I was okay with it. It wasn't, you know, amazing or anything like that, but it was decent. So, but I saw it coming. And I think a lot of other people probably will see it coming. I think, I don't know. Uh, it kind of depends on how you watch movies. If you kind of watch it without, you know, really thinking super hard about it, you won't see it coming. But I am always kind of looking a little bit deeper at, at films when I'm watching them. This is about how evil affects everyone ultimately, no matter where you come from or who you are. But in dire times, how do people act and react? 
Uh, in some, you see the best humanity has to offer, and is uh, other bleh, sorry. In others, you see the worst. So that is one of the key things in there. Now that said, uh, I have to give it an overall rating. I would say, for me, this film was worth watching once. I enjoyed it enough one time, and like I said, gets points for you know the certain things I kind of laid out that I feel are different. Now that said, when the evil is introduced, when the main problem is introduced, I don't feel like there's enough done and developed with that to it to, for it to be really that interesting. So everything is more interesting leading up to it and including the reveal of it. And then after that, it, it's just not that fun for me. It's not that interesting for me. They, they could have done a lot more with it. Now that said, it's a decent film. Like I said, it's worth watching once. So out of five stars with half stars in play, I'm going to go ahead and give it a solid three star rating. I was between two and a half and three, but because of, you know, the time period, the different time period and the setting, I'll bump it to the three, but just know I was between a two and a half and a three. So, um, cause I'm a little bit like, I don't know, but anyway, if you've seen it, go ahead and let's have comments down here. Um, spoilers in the comments, go ahead and then we'll just kind of, you know, if you want to go further with the film, we can do that. Um, but do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video or any video I've ever done, that is your best way to repay me. Uh, literally I do get excited and happy and feel more motivated when I see a new subscriber, uh, ha uh come into the channel. Um, and it's, it's like a community. That's another great thing about it. So please consider doing that. And if you are going to do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell. And that way, you know, when I put up a new review video or unboxing or do a live stream or anything like that. So regardless, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this and until next time, keep it brutal.